you know, Simon and I handle a lot of requests, of course. There's a lot of different things inside of native development that people want and need for their businesses and they want and need for personal use. But this one, I think, was one of the very first ones that we knew we would have to get to at some point, and we just had to prioritize some other things ahead of it. So getting down to today, this moment, right now, when I get to demonstrate to you the QR code slash any scanner, really will scan anything, QR code scanner. This is our new for version two. This is our like our fluent API uh, that we set on the live stream. By the way, go to YouTube and check us out on YouTube and subscribe. We're live every Friday now, Simon and I talking about all the stuff and there's a lot of things. I mean, the next several months, as far as I can see, we have tons of new stuff coming out, lots of cool things happening. So really, actually, stay tuned for that because it's very exciting. Um, but anyway, the Fluent API, we can chain like prompt and like which formats do you want? And this will all be in the docs and, um, you know, like EAN 13 and UPCA or QR code and all that stuff. And then we have this continuous because, you know, your device is actually capable of continuous scanning or not you can just scan one time or you can scan multiple things and so we're going to demonstrate both of those things so when the uh, event is called so this this is what opens the scanner and and gives it all the, the properties that it needs all the parameters that it needs to do its job then it's going to fire off the event and then if we are streaming we're just building up an array right so if we're streaming we're having multiple codes being scanned we're going to just build up this array and we're going to display it if not, we're just going to show it one item, right? So let's go ahead and demonstrate. Here is my actual phone on the left, and I've got continuous set to uh, off. It's false. And then uh, I'm just going to scan all formats because it doesn't really matter. And then I've just got a bunch of QR codes over here. So let's go ahead. You can uh, see my house. Uh, there's my house, and here's my computer. And so I'm going to get a QR code and as soon as it finds one it should be pretty quick you'll see it happen right now boom done all right so it found this active barcode.com slash codes cool so this is the fun part continuous scanning are you ready for this start continuous scan so here we go this is so cool I'm so excited for this it is scanning everything that's on my computer so let me just like scroll through this Every time you see the phone like light up, uh, it scanned another code and another code and another code. There's a whole bunch right there. So let's like just zoom in a little bit. So you can see I've got 28 scanned up here on the on the top. You can see the latest five. I can clear this. Let me go ahead and clear this out. And as soon as I did, it picked up two more. So let me go ahead and uh, aim it over here. And there we go. So let's try it again. And now this time we'll see the results. And how fast it it goes back into uh it pops back into Laravel. So yeah, I want a whole bunch. Let's get a whole bunch of these. Let's just go real fast through this. Let's get a whole bunch. Yeah, all right, cool. 30, 31, something like that. Cool. All right, I want to hit the uh the little X here to close this down. Boom. So here are all of the codes that we just scanned, all 31 of those codes.